Hello Virgo, welcome back to New Hope Tarot, where we will be doing your reading for the month of July. I have meditated upon the cards and I have appreciated them. As always though, I will shuffle live. We're going to be doing the readings a little bit different this month. We're going to be doing the full reading of the month plus the breakdown of the week to week. And I will be time stamping each week so that you're able to come back and visit each week. Okay. And to everybody out there who has subscribed and donated to my channel, I can't thank you enough from the bottom of my heart. I am so beyond grateful to you. I can't even express it in words. Um, I, I wake up every morning smiling because of the joy you bring me. So thank you. And I hope I am giving some of that back to you. And as I promised, I will be doing the uh, readings, the free giveaway readings uh, to a subscriber. So make sure that you are putting your name in a comment in um in the readings the uh, readings will be once a week during the dailies so check it out and see if your name is called okay and during meditation spirit showed me a baby giraffe and what i got from that giraffe is the fact that there might be something that you are trying to see or comprehend, but you're not there yet. That's the biggest thing that I got from the, from the baby giraffe. There also may be something new that maybe is, maybe you're trying to attain but you're not, again, not there yet. It's almost like you're close, but not quite is what I'm getting. So take both of those scenarios um, as, as it fits in your specific scenario. Sorry, this card flew out. So I have to take that. All right, let's organize these just a smidge here. Okay. All right, we have Judgment, Nine of Pentacles, Seven of Swords in Reverse, and The Fool. Okay. Right now with the Judgment card, I feel like you're calling something in. That's the very first thing that I'm getting is that you're trying to call something in. Trying to attract something in. Something that is good for your soul, or at least you feel is going to be good for your soul. Whatever that looks like for you. Because I feel like you are, although you're trying, you're very independent. I'm also seeing the sense that you're wanting some sort of, you're wanting more. So let's say, for instance, you are very financially well off. Maybe you're, you're missing a partner, right? Or if you have a really sustainable friendships or, or whatever, but maybe you're, you're missing that career, right? Whatever that that's missing. It's like, you're wanting, you you're wanting both. You're not just wanting one thing, or perhaps maybe you're something as simple as you live in an apartment, but you want a home, uh, whatever that looks like for you, right? Or you have an, a, an older vehicle and you want something newer. Okay, whatever this is, it's, th that's what you're wanting uh, because you, you feel overall you, you're fine, but it's, again, it's not something that you need. It's something that you want. And 
and you you want it to be fair you want it to be fair and square you want to earn it fair and square you you want it because you feel you've earned it not because you just want a freebie it's like you earned it whatever this is you you want it of your own volition let's just put it that way and but at the same time it it's so funny at the same time you're also a little bit scared of um of obtaining it very interesting very 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 interesting i'm gonna have to, I'm, I'm definitely gonna get some clarifications but that's that's very interesting we have the nine of cups in reverse the ace of wands the seven of wands in reverse the hermit king of cups knight oh not knight eight of coins the world in reverse and justice maybe you don't feel like it's going to, going to come in maybe you are afraid of it coming in maybe you are afraid that it's not going to come in sorry let me correct myself maybe you're afraid that it's not going to come in I'm going to say this right now. It will come in, Virgo. It's going to come in. I'm going to get some more clarifiers here. But let me continue looking into the month here before we get into the week-by-week -week breakdown. Okay. Okay. Please make sure that you are seeing this situation, whatever it is you're trying to call in. You're not in a wish mentality, but in a it's mine mentality. Own it. Believe that it's yours already. All right. And continue to meditate about it. All right. Don't look at the challenges. Don't look at the whys you don't have it. Don't look at how long it's taken. Don't look at any of that, right? Know that it's yours already. And when you least expect it, that's when it's coming, my dear ones. All right. You know, I'm getting the sense that there's going to be a person, not you that's actually going to put this piece together for you I feel like it's being it's happening it's being brought to you it's being worked in the background is really what I'm getting it's being worked in the background I feel like it's almost it's almost there it's almost being delivered I feel like this is very karmic, very, I'm going to get more, I'm not even getting the right deck, my bad, let me, let me get the right deck. I feel like this is going to be, it's, everything's going to weigh, weigh itself out, everything's going to work out for you. I'll get some clarifiers, but I feel like everything is going to work out. You're going to obtain this. We have judgment and justice. Everything is going to work out. Even though the world is in reverse, I feel like it's going to be yours. And it's so close. All right, let's take a look at week one. The Empress. The Knight of Cups. Ace of Wands. Holy cow, what a freaking week. Listen, pretend like you, oh, remember I said it, pretend like you own it, pretend that it's yours, act as if it is yours, it's going to be yours, it is headed your way, there's a new beginning here, there, oh, this is good, this is really, 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 really good, oh my gosh, I didn't even tell you what the, I am so sorry. I got so excited for you because I was so really excited about 
the end result here. I got to go over these first week. We have the judgment nine of cups and the king of cups. Okay. Let me start off by saying you're definitely calling in a wish fulfillment, but you need to act as if you own it, right? Make sure that you stay aligned with your heart. I feel like you're trying to call in a king of cups person, male, female. This is not a gender specific reading. I don't care what you're attracted to. You're trying to attract something that is stable for you, that it is tried and true. So I'm, hopefully we get the lover's card here or the two of cups. I'm very excited to see what we got going on here because I feel like you're bringing in this kind of energy. That's what I'm picking up right now. But let's take a look here. We have the Empress, the Knight of Cups, and the Ace of Wands. I'm telling you, this is really, really good. I feel like you are going to obtain this Knight in Shining Armor that we have here. I feel like this, this person is incredibly patient, but very adventurous. I feel like you're, you've been patient. And you are adventurous. I feel like you actually might meet a person while out and about. Just randomly out and about. This isn't a swipe left, swipe right kind of a situation. This is a very natural meeting. All right, week two. Nine of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, and the Eight of Coins. We have the Ace of Wands twice. I really like this. Number one, if you have a question, it's a yes. Number two, there's definite change going on here. If, if you're drawing in somebody, it's going to be somebody that's very, very independent and very sure of who they are. This is a very confident individual, but also somebody who really uses their mind. Okay. But I feel like this is you being really focused on what it is you want and you trying to accomplish something that you have set out to accomplish. I don't feel like this is this person right now. This week, I feel like you're really focused on your job or whatever it is you do for a living because I feel like again you're very focused I feel like whatever it is you're doing you've it's almost like you regained a a surge of interest in regards to whatever it is you do where maybe before it was like oh my gosh it's so boring or Oh my God, I keep doing the same thing, blah, 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 whatever that is. But it's almost like whatever it is you're doing, you're using your skill, but somehow you've rearranged it or refocused it or. All right, so I'm, I'm going to give you an example because I don't really know how I'm trying to, what I'm trying to say here for you. It's, it's like. Let's say you're cooking and you're using the same three ingredients, right? To cook the exact same meal. Here you're using the same three ingredients, but you're switching it up where that meal is much more exciting for you. Okay. The hope that makes sense. So place that into your life, however it is right for you. But that's what I'm getting here. Whatever it is you're doing, you're switching it up and it's almost like you're getting a different outcome. So... Perhaps you're studying, right? But the way you're studying, maybe it wasn't working for you. Maybe it worked for other people and you switched it up. And maybe now you're studying that you're able to comprehend and retain the information better, right? And because of that, you're able to be better focused. And you do whatever it is you do that much better. Death card, three of cups, 
world card. There's definite transformation in whatever it is you're doing. There's definitely some sort of, I know that this is not the three of pentacles. I understand that this is the three of cups, but again, I'm really getting the sense that there is some sort of collaboration here, some sort of I don't know. It's almost like you're celebrating the fact that you figured something out. And you're, you're, it's like you're ecstatic about something. It's like, oh my gosh, it's like you cracked the case. You cracked. It's almost like you, again, it's, it's like an investigator who is looking at the same information over and over and over again. But it's not until they take a step back and they, they revisit it and go, oh, wait. I didn't see that information the same way as I did before. And just that little tweak broke the case. Okay, that's what I'm getting here. I really, really like this. You're having a hell of a month so far, Virgo. All right, we have the Seven of Swords in reverse, Seven of Wands in reverse, and the World in reverse. You know, I'm actually getting the sense that you almost need a rest this week. Like this third week, either I feel like you just need some sort of rest, some like recovery time about something. It's like your energies shifted from here to here. Like a big shift has changed. If you if you are questioning this joy right here and you're waiting for the other shoe to drop you need to cut that out like right now. Okay. Don't do that. Don't do that Virgo. All right. You keep your courages up, right? You keep, you keep yourself strong. Don't, don't sit there and go, Oh no, something's going to happen. No, don't, don't believe that. Don't believe that. And don't start putting up those walls up again and go, Oh my gosh, I can't, you know, I, I, I can't afford to be let down again. I can't. Don't do that. Do not do that to yourself. If you need to take a step away from something in order for you to really be clear, in order for you to balance out what's in your mind and in your heart and combine the two, it, whatever it is you need to you need to do to realign yourself, you better do it. Whatever works for you, you need to get that done. Whether that's going out into nature or listening to some music, working out, I don't care, but you need to, you need to get back into alignment here. All right. Even if that means if you've been overworked and you need to rest, then you need to do that. Okay. Because you need to be prepared for whatever is coming. Whatever shift this is, you need to be prepared. Okay? Yeah. Four of Pentacles, Six of Swords, Six of Cups. You need to recoup your energies. Whatever this is, you need to take some time for you and realign yourself. And it's okay to be greedy. Don't worry about it. It's fine because you are worth it. Sometimes in order for us to, and we feel like in order to be um, productive, we need to do, 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 right? But sometimes in order to be, to be better productive, we just need to just chill. We need to chill. We need to ground ourselves. We, we need to take a moment and go, okay, I need to breathe so that I'm able to move forward 
properly and accordingly and go towards that which I truly want, which is happiness, to go towards my joy. You need to ground yourself, okay? This is going to be your challenging week here, Virgo. Week three is your challenging week. We have the fool in reverse, the hermit, and justice. All right. This is the week where <laughs> you may be a little bit hesitant about moving forward. And you may be taking a time out to go, all right, where do I really want to go with whatever this is or this new situation that kind of made you wobbly a little bit? You need to take a moment. Everything is going to work out just fine, but you need to find your balance. If you are working too hard and you need to take a time out, then you do need to do that. If you're playing too hard and you need to stop doing that and really putting forth the effort into something, then you need to do that. Whatever it is, you need to balance things out because something is out of balance in regards to, so you might have found your balance or maybe you haven't, maybe this kind of lingered on, right? But you need to find, you need to find your, your grounding. I mean, I said it here. So you, you need to find your footing, my dear ones. We have the Eight of Swords, <laughs> the Hangman, and the Ace of Cups. We have three aces, 100% yes to whatever question you may have. All right. Again, whatever hesitations you may have with this fool you, you need to break out of that. You need, to, you need to break out of whatever you think you aren't capable of receiving, getting, doing, whatever. You need to break out of this. I don't feel like this is your circumstances. I feel like this is really your mind, right? You need to break out of this. And if that means you need to Again, with the hermit, and we have the hermit, hermit and the hangman, very similar energies. You need to take a moment, all right? You need to take a moment and really consider who the H you are, right? Who are you? And move forward knowing. I feel like you've already taken a lot of time out. But you need to be clear-minded. Know that there's a change that is happening within yourself in order for something new to come in. There's a lot of changes happening this month for you, specifically within yourself, but also very, very, very importantly in the realm that you do not see. There's a lot of stuff going on in the background that you aren't seeing right now. You're not meant to see this at this moment, my dear Virgo. You're, 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 not, you're not seeing it at the moment. I, the lovers did not come up, but we do have the Ace of Cups and the Knight of Cups. Right? And we also have the world. So whatever this is, there's definitely some sort of, I, I feel like there is somebody coming in. Here, maybe they're not coming this month. Maybe they're coming in the next month. But I feel like you're being set up, being prepared for, for this, for this Knight of Cups here. You're, you're, you're going to start being set up. I'm also seeing that if you are working on your finances, I feel like it's growing but you need to keep putting forth the effort. You can't keep, it's like you're holding yourself back for whatever reason. Stop holding yourself back, keep moving forward. It's like you take three steps forward and then you take four steps back 
and it's a constant tug of war. All right, let's see what we have here. I'm gonna see what else we have for the month of July. And we have the Empress Three of Cups and Six of Cups. I feel here with this energy that there is, with you being this confident, glowing, nurturing person and working together with somebody or celebrating or whatever this energy is. I know, that, again, this is not the Three of Pentacles. I get that, but I'm getting Three of Pentacles energy, so I'm going with my intuition and what my gut is saying. Because again, we have two ace of wands here and I feel like there's something, there's a shift that's happening. And whatever this is, it's bringing you a lot of joy, right? A lot of joy. What I will warn you against is this going up here, the world, six of swords and eight of swords. You're wanting this. You're, you're ready to move forward but you keep stalling, you keep hesitating, you keep, you have to be mindful of this eight of swords, this thing that keeps pulling you back. I feel like it's all in your mind. I really, really do. What else do I have here? I really love this row down here. Ace of Wands, World, Six of Cups, and Ace of Cups. I just really like this. This might be, this right here might be coming towards the end of April. We'll see what that looks like. But, um, you know, hopefully, in, did I say April? I meant August. I'm so sorry. Um, because I'm definitely picking up like a fall vibe going on here. I do like the death card, six of swords and ace of cups. You know, it's like a transformation moving forward and a new beginning. I really, really like that a lot. I really like that. All right, let's find out what's going on additional for you. What else, what does the universe have for you, my dear ones? Moonlight. Whatever it is you are calling in, I feel like you think about it mainly at night. I feel like this is a, definitely a wish fulfillment of something that you're trying to manifest. If you're looking at this card, look at this top corner right here. Do you see that something is being manifested there? It's not there completely, but it is almost there. And again, I felt like that's what was happening here. So don't focus on the thing that you don't have yet. Focus on feeling as if you do have it. Purity. Always trust in the purity of your heart. Look inside your heart and within it, you will find the answer to your question. Again, if you have a question and it's a yes or no question, you will have three aces, which is an absolute yes. Okay? If you're looking for this relationship, it's a very good, pure relationship. I really like this. Again, I feel like this person is, if you are looking to attract somebody, not all of you are. If you are looking to attract somebody, I feel like this person is financially set. I feel like this person is well-versed in a lot of different topics, probably travels quite a bit or has traveled. Um, Maybe, you know, when they were younger, I don't know. Um, and I feel like they're very brainy. They, 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 they're very smart. Um, but they're super kind. Very, I mean, I just, I'm, I'm getting a genuine energy about this person. I just, I already like them and I don't know them. All right. Let's see what we have. Final message, please. Hawk spirit. Let spirit be your guide. Don't force something to happen. Just allow it to happen in its appropriate time. When you sit there and focus too much on when, how it's going to look like, and all of that, things tend to get delayed. 
Allow things, number one, feel as if you have it. Allow things to work out whenever they're going to work out. More often than not, than not, what you have in your mind and what comes into fruition is not going to be identical to what you have in your mind, but it turns out to be way better, okay? All right, my darling Virgos, that is what I have for you. All right, my dear ones, I hope this did resonate. If it did, go ahead, uh, leave a comment. And I, again, I can't thank you enough for your likes, shares, and subscribes and your donations. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. Until we meet again, have a great one.